In this video, we're going to rotate, crop, and straighten images using a variety of Photoshop techniques. So I've opened up a bunch of photos here, and we're going to do some quick rotation and um, cropping of these photos. So this first photo I've opened up, first thing I need to do is rotate it. So I'm going to do an image, image rotation, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. And that gives me a, a straight on view of it. And you can see that the ground is not quite um, a pure horizontal line. And if I want to see a pure horizontal line, I can go to view and I can go to rulers. And then I can click on the ruler and drag down a guide. And I can see that we've got kind of a curvature happening here of this line. But definitely, and then I can grab this ruler again definitely it's not exactly straight on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to um, make a small rotation adjustment to this image. So what I'll do is, is I'll go over here and I'll hold down, this is normally the eyedropper tool right here, and I'll hold down the eyedropper and grab the ruler tool, and then I'll just click, let's see here, I'll just click and drag a line following this line on the ground, all right, clicked and dragged and then let go over here and laid out a ruler here. And now image, image rotation, image, image rotation, arbitrary. And then I'll click OK and it rotates the image for me. And when it rotates the image, it left some white areas around the side. And now I need to crop this image. I'm going to double click on this hand tool to get the whole image into the screen. And now I'm going to get my crop tool. This is my crop tool right here. Hold it down. You can see there's some other tools here, but this is the first tool you'll see as a crop tool. And I'm just going to click and drag, and I'm going to set a crop on this. All right, and I'll drag this over here so I don't see any white. And I'll drag this up here. And when you have it all in place and you're not seeing any white on the borders, to make the um, crop take effect, you just click the check mark right up here or you hit enter on your keyboard. I'll hit enter and now the image has been um, cropped and rotated and it's been rotated arbitrarily to straighten the image. Next image I have, let's go to another one of these here. All right, I've got a landscape here. This landscape was from an airplane and the horizon is not quite level. And I also have some um, the window showing here on the left-hand side. So I want to crop this thing. So I got my crop tool and I'm just going to make a crop adjustment to this. Let's see here. All right, like that, let's say. And I'll hit enter and that crops my image. And then now, once again, I'll grab this ruler tool and I'll draw a line across the horizon here. And then image, image rotation arbitrary and click OK. And it rotates my image ever so slightly. And then time for another crop. So I will go as close up to the edge in here and you can see that my crop is is snapping to the edge and I'm not able to get it right on that edge because it's snap is on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit cancel to cancel my crop and I'm going to go to view snap and I'm going to click on snap and get rid of that check mark so that it won't snap anymore. Snapping can be useful but in this case it's getting in the way. So I'll turn off snap and I'll drag this way and then I'll drag up here and over here, and then I'll hit enter. And I've straightened my image just a bit. Okay, now another one that I have here is this building, and we'll do a different uh, transformation of this one. So I'll say image adjustments, let's see here, no, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. All right. So image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. And you can see here, we're getting some um, perspective distortion in this building because I didn't have maybe quite the correct lens to shoot this. 
And um, so you can see that these lines are all vanishing. Well, I could maybe distort this a little bit and improve on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer and then I'm going to distort it. So to duplicate the layer in the layers panel that I have over here, and if you don't see yours, just go to window and layers and open up your layers panel. And I'm going to drag this layer down to this little icon next to the trash can, which is a um, duplicate layer command. And that'll copy this layer, right? Now, if you want to get rid of that, you just take it to the trash can, right? I can also just say layer, duplicate layer. All right. And I'll click OK. And now I've got a duplicate layer. I will turn off the eyeball on the background layer. I'll click on this upper layer here now, my duplicate layer. And I'm going to do an edit. Let's see here. Transform perspective. And in this perspective transformation, what I'll do is I will open up here and distort the building by expanding this, by grabbing this upper right hand anchor point and stretching it. And I'll just do that a little bit and click enter. And that straightens out the edges of the building just a little bit. Now, probably not enough to make it perfect. What I can also do is do it again. I'll do an edit. Let's see here, transform perspective and I'll go to the bottom ones here, this bottom handlebars, and I'll push those in. And just a little bit. And hit enter. And you can see now that I've straightened the building quite a bit. It looks pretty good, but I've got some transparency showing here on the edge where I where I pinched that in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also need to crop. So with my crop tool and take this down to here pinch this in just a little bit here and click enter. And now I've straightened the building a bit and cropped it. It's still slightly distorted, but it's the edges are a lot straighter and I'm getting a much uh, cleaner image with straight lines, um, straight verticals. Um, it's not perfectly straight, but it's okay. All right, for this image, we'll do something else. Let's say I've scanned this image in and I want to crop it and rotate it. What you could do is I want to fix this scan later. So I'll just draw a uh, box here. And then what I can do is with my, with my crop box that I just dragged open, I can rotate it a little bit. Just rotate that just a little bit by putting the cursor putting the mouse outside and you'll see a curved line. You can see it turns into from a, an expanding um, icon to a curving uh, arrow, which allows me to rotate the box. So I'm rotating this crop box. And then if I hit enter, it'll apply the transformation and straighten the image all in one swoop. And then for the last one, I've got a Mount Rushmore picture here. I want to, let's say, crop it. So I'll put this cropping into effect, drag my selection out how I want it. OK. Apply the crop. Hit Enter on your keyboard. That applies my crop. I can double click on the hand tool to make it zoom in so it fits in the window. And now I want to rotate it ever so slightly. So once again, with the ruler tool, drag across the top edge, sets my ruler for the straight line that's in the image, and then image, image rotation, arbitrary. You can see it's very subtle. And click OK, and it rotates it slightly. And now I need to crop off the edges where now white is appearing. That is not a big deal. It takes only a couple seconds to pull the crop out. Getting that snapping happening again here, which is not so good. But I'll just crop it anyway for the sake of expediency. And hit enter. And the image is cropped.